night with severe burns to her hands and her feet after playing at a splash pad. Town officials are investigating what may have happened. Wish TV's Dan Klein reports the mother believes it's a chemical burn. And I do want to warn you that the photos we're about to show you may be disturbing to some viewers. But this all happened to a toddler named Cabri Maurice. She's a 17-month-old from Muncie. She and her mom, Austin, went to the new splash pad in Yorktown on Monday afternoon. Austin tells me Cabri ran over to the edge of the pad on some manhole covers. Immediately, her feet started to burn, and then she put her hands down, and those were burned as well. Doctors say these are deep second-degree burns, almost third-degree burns. They have not been able to determine the cause. Town officials tell me while the covers are over chlorine and acid tanks, which are required for the disinfecting process for the water, they do not appear to have any leaks. And if there was one, it would go deeper underground, not to the surface. Now, officials did go out yesterday and said the covers tested about 140 degrees in the heat of the sun, compared to the concrete, which tested at 120 degrees. So they painted the manhole covers with white today to reflect the heat, and that area today tested cooler than the surrounding concrete. Unfortunate event. We are absolutely saddened. You know, we, we in no way envisioned this being an area that, that people would get hurt, although things happen any time that you're out and about. We have individuals that are over there, uh, and, and are looking at those uh, areas, you know, twice a day and making sure that everything's right. We'll continue to do that. The splash pad just opened two months ago and is part of a $750,000 renovation downtown next to Town Hall. Austin tells me she's just exhausted from the last couple of days and was not up for an interview. But she says doctors are supposed to tell her tomorrow if Cabri needs surgery. And while the recovery will be a long one, they're hopeful because she cries when her hands and feet are touched, which is a good sign that likely means the nerves are still working. Reporting in the studio, Dan Klein, WishTV, WishTV.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook.